The nominee for the Independent National Electoral Commission Chairmanship, Professor Yakub Mahmoud, has called for an amendment of the Electoral Act Bill to include Nigerians in diaspora ahead of the 2023 general elections. Yakub stated this when he appeared before the Kabiru Gaya led Senate Committee on INEC and Thursday for screening, asked the chairman of the commission for another five year tenure. What voting strategy would you recommend to include Nigerians in the diaspora in elections? and the electoral process? That would be question one, because that's an unusual terrain. This is a recurring decimal in our discussions. When will Nigerians living outside the country be given the right to vote? If you look at all our neighbors, and I've visited all our neighbors as president of the Equus Network of Electoral Commissions, not only do they do a, a, a diaspora vote, but in some cases, they also have what they call overseas constituencies. Uh, some countries have five members of their national assemblies representing each of the five continents of the world. So they vote in diaspora and they send a representative to the national parliament. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's, as far as INEC is concerned, and I keep repeating myself on this matter, is that we are actually preaching to the converted. But we can't run faster than the law provides. The law says that you can only vote while you are registered. Uh, if you don't register in London or any other place, you simply cannot vote. But for us as a commission, we have done the following. First, we have identified the areas of amendment to the Constitution and the Electoral Act. For voters to be registered outside the country and polit for political parties to also be able to organize a response outside the country. If you notice now, when, politi when politicians go abroad, they don't speak to Nigerians as if they are on campaign. They say, no, they are only addressing Nigerians in the diaspora. And the law also says that once there is a contribution to a political party from outside the country, the funds should be warehoused by INEC. And political parties can only draw from the funds uh, uh, where they uh, write and justify to the commission what they want to use the money for. So we need to amend the electoral act. I have been also speaking with uh, uh, Ms. Abike Dabiri in the Nigeria Diaspora Commission to get data. On our own as a commission, we contacted the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We engaged with the Nigeria Intelligence Agency. We contacted the Ministry of Defense. Um, we also contacted the Nigeria and Diaspora Commission so that we have some basic data of where we have the largest concentration of Nigerians to see where we start from. But the starting point is that you have to amend the law for that to happen. For as long as the law is amend not amended, that may not happen. The committee members quizzed him on what the body has achieved over time and what they intend to do differently to avoid lapses in perfect election process. Should you get the approval to go for the second tenure, what do you hope to do differently to perfect elections? In Nigeria, because we know there are so many other uh, lingering problems that need to be done. What do you intend to do before you finally? What can INEC do differently? I think it's more of what we have done because my belief is that we cannot be experimenting constantly, we have to be consolidating. Democracy operates on the basis of a rule that everything must be done in the open and transparently. The only thing that is secret is the, vote, is the ballot. So we have to continue to be open and transparent in the way we continue to manage this public trust. I, I hope that in the next few years we'll consolidate to such an extent that Nigerians can vote and go home confident that their votes will count and only their votes will determine who eventually wins an election. Uh, this one uh, is my, my, my hope, my commitment. Yakub Wa reacting to questions on the independence of the electoral body ahead of the 2023 general elections, emphasized the need for strong laws and strong will to implement the laws to ensure the independence of the electoral body. What else would you be doing? And what is it that will actually guarantee the independence of INEC under your leadership if and when 
you, uh, you successfully pass through this screening, we need two things to protect the integrity of the Commission's independence. One, we can't operate outside the provision of the NWA laws. Laws are critical. But equally critical is the character of those who are saddled with the responsibility of managing the um, uh, elections in Nigeria. So much depends on the integrity that we bring on board to the work that we do. Uh, so it's actually a mixture of both. We need strong laws, we also need strong uh, will uh, for us to be able to implement those laws. He added that the commission is determined to deepen the use of technology in elections while calling on the speedy passage of the electoral amendments bill. The commission is determined to continue to deepen the use of technology in elections. The report of the screening is to be submitted to the Senate on Tuesday for confirmation after consideration in the committee of a whole. In solidarity and support of the ANEC chairman nominee, the coalition of political parties led by Kenneth Udizi hailed President Buhari for nominating Yakub Mahmoud as ANEC chairman. It is not in every uh, incident that happened in this country that opposition will come to criticize Mr. President. When Mr. President gets his right, definitely we have to commend him. We are here to commend President Muhammad Buhari for the reappointment of Professor Mahmoud Yakub of INEC, the INEC chairman, whom we all know already, have been already been cleared by the Senate in the past. And what we are doing today, he's supposed to be in his uh, going for his interview and um, uh, screening. So we are here in order to give, you know, add kudos to what they are doing in the Senate by making sure he gets confirmed because of what we as leaders of political parties have um, seen ever since he came in as the INEC chairman. If you look at um, what happened in Ondo recently and what happened in Edo State, it is a kudos to INEC in as much as we know that uh, the commission may not be getting it right in everything. But ever since Professor Mahmoud Yakubu came into INEC, there have been a lot of reforms. If not for anything, consider electronic transmission, electronic voting and the you know, transmission of uh, results from polling unit to, you know, to central server and um, all manner of um, activities that have been happening when it comes to election in Nigeria.